Hello, this is Pastor Jones. I want to spend about five minutes with you today, hoping to give you something that's going to challenge you in your walk and relationship with the Lord. I'm reading from the book of Genesis 3, 12 and 13. And the man said, the woman. And the woman said, the serpent. I want to talk to you for just a moment about passing the buck. And I don't think I have to explain what that phrase means. Adam, he blamed Eve. Eve, she blamed the serpent. Aaron, he blamed the people for the golden calf that came out of the fire. The unprofitable servant blamed his master for his unfaithfulness. It started with Adam, and we have been passing the buck ever since. We are experts at alibis. The unprofitable servant used several times more words explaining his failure than did the faithful servant relating his success. What tons of paper we use up blaming the sins of today on numerous things. We blame heredity. It's in my genes. It's mom and dad's fault. Our environment. You don't know where I live. You don't know what kind of school I go to and the kids that surround me. On repressions. We blame our complexes. Too much of this, too little of that. The times in which we live. It's just how hard the times are. That's why I did what I did. The party that's in power. There's a lot of that going around today. We blame the Democrats. We blame the Republicans. This one, that one, the other one. Everything, everybody, but, listen to me, but ourselves. We never want to take credit for our failures, our downfallings, and our sin. We're trying to always pass the buck. The principal business of this age is buck passing. The Bible says in Proverbs 28 and 13, he that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whosoever confesses and forsaketh them shall have mercy. The Bible declares a man to be blessed. Blessed is the man that admits he's wrong, owns up to his own sins, and forsakes them. The prodigal, my friend, could have thought up a list of alibis as long as his shirt sleeve in that pigsty of which he found himself. But his salvation began when he resolved to say, I have sin. Just confess it. Come clean. Admit to it. Because there'll be no freedom or liberty until you do. There are many modern prodigals today eating husk, who have a hundred excuses, at least a hundred. And they go on feeding the hogs and living in that miserable moment in time of which they find themselves. And there's no reason for it. There's no deliverance, my friends. Listen to me. Until you stop passing the buck. Come clean with God. Confess your sin, and he will be faithful and just to forgive you of your sin and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. May we never be accused, be accused of again of a person that passes the buck. Live up to your failures, live up to your sins, and find forgiveness at the hands of God. I hope I've given you something to think about. I'll see you soon.